This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 3, Numbers in Exponential Form Raised to a Power. This is Grade 8, Module 1. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students will know how to take powers of powers. Students will know that when a product is raised to a power, each factor of the product is raised to that power. Students will write simplified, equivalent, numeric, and symbolic expressions using this new knowledge of powers. The essential question is, how do you raise a power to a power? For discussion, how can we write this expression using multiplication? So we have 3 repeatedly being added together 4 times. So we can take this first section and rewrite it as 4 times 3. And we can do that with each section that is repeated addition, writing it as multiplication. Then we notice that we are repeatedly adding 4 groups of 3. And that can be rewritten as 5 times 4 times 3. So what we're actually doing here, I want you to notice that 5 times 4 times 3 is the equivalent of adding 3 20 times. Let's go down to the next section. And here we have repeated multiplication. And we are multiplying 3 over and over. So in our first section, we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And we want to write that expression using exponents. So our base is the factor being repeated. And we are multiplying that 4 times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So each one of these sections can be abbreviated using an exponent 3 to the 4th power. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 5 times 3 to the 4th power. So I can abbreviate that as well. My base is 3 to the 4th power. And the number of times I'm using it as a factor is 5 times. So this is raising a power to a power. And our essential question is, how do we raise a power to a power? So let's take a look at how we might write that just using 3 as a base. And then what would our exponent be? Looking at example 1, we have 3 to the 4th raised to the 5th power. And 3 to the 4th means repeatedly multiplying 3 4 times. And we are raising that to the 5th power. So what we're doing is we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And we are repeatedly multiplying that times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. A total of 5 times. We can rewrite that, uh, the top, the 3 times 3, that is repeatedly multiplying 3 times 3 dot 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 times 3, a total of how many times? Well, up here it's 4 group, they're in groups of 4 and 5 times. So that would be 5 times 4 times. And so to simplify that, just go down here, and that would be 3 as our base, and then our exponent would be 5 times 4. Let's take a look at example 2. Example 2 is 7 raised to the second power raised to the sixth power. So 7 raised to the second power would be 7 times, whoops, <laughs> don't want to do that. That would be 7 times 7. And we are raising that to the sixth power. So we are actually taking 7 times 7 and multiplying it times 7 times 7, a total of 6 times. Then we can rewrite that top section here without parentheses as just 7 times 7 dot 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 times 7. Now, how many times would we need that? Well, they're in groups of 2 here, and we need that 6 times. So that would be a total of 6 times 2 
times. So we can actually rewrite 7 squared raised to the 6th power as 7 as a base, and then our exponent would just be 2 times 6. So what I want you to notice here is that we're, we're focusing right now on how it works. If you wanted to fully simplify this, you would answer this as 3 to the 20th. And for this problem, you would fully answer it as 7 to the 12th power. But right now, we're focusing on how to raise a power to a power. So we're leaving it in this form. So following that example, then, to raise 1.3 to the third power, to the 10th power, how would that work? Well, we would take our base of 1.3. And then we would multiply our exponents 3 times 10. So here's a general rule for raising a power to a power. For any number x and any positive numbers m and n, x to the m power raised to the n power is equal to x raised to the m times n power. So let's put this in words. How do you raise a power to a power? You keep the base. That's the x. And what are you doing to the exponents? You multiply the exponents. On your own, complete exercise 1, 2, 3, and 4. Pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Notice the use of parentheses around the negative number and the decimal. For any numbers x and y and any positive number n, so we have x multiplied by y raised to the n power. What we're going to do is, um, by definition, we have the quantity x times y and we are repeatedly multiplying it times x times y, a total of n times. We can rewrite this, uh, grouping our like terms as x times x, multiplying it repeatedly, and then multiplying that by y times y, multiplying it repeatedly, for a total of n times for the x and n times for the y. Then by the commutative property is how we reorganized our x's and y's, any order, any grouping. Then simplify that, we've got x to the n power times y to the n power by the definition of x to the n power. So our problem of raising the quantity x times y to the n power, the answer is x to the n power times y to the n power. What I want you to notice about this example is that you are raising both the x and the y to the nth power because of the parentheses. In exercise 7, we have the product of 11 times 4 to the 9th power. So what we want to do is we want to um, take that entire expression, 11 times 4, and repeatedly multiply it 9 times. So we won't write this out for every problem, but we'll do it one more time. So we have 11 times 4 repeatedly being multiplied a total of 9 times. Then with any order, any grouping, we can rewrite this putting our 11s first, repeatedly multiplying them a total of 9 times, and multiply that by 4 being multiplied repeatedly 9 times. So altogether we have 11 to the 9th power times 4 to the 9th power. So I want you to notice that the 9 is being actually distributed to the 11 and the 4. You are 
raising each one of those terms to the ninth power. And um, on the previous page, you learned that to raise a power to a power, you actually multiply the powers. So here you might think, well, there's no power for 11 or 4. Well, there is, but it's invisible. So if you had a power for one, 11, it would be 1. And multiplying that, 4 has a power also of 1. So raising that to the power, that would give us 11, and then we multiply our powers, 1 times 9, times 4, then you multiply your powers, 1 times 9, and that's how you get your answer of 11 to the ninth power times 4 to the ninth power. Let's take a look at exercise 8. We have 3 raised to the second power times 7 raised to the fourth power, all raised to the fifth power. So we write each term, we have 3, and we are going to take that to the second power and raise it to the fifth power by multiplying. And then multiply that by 7, which is raised to the fourth power, and raise that to the fifth power by multiplying. Exercise 10. Let x be a number. So we want to take 5x to the 7th, or 5x to the 7th power. So we would really be multiplying 5x times 5x times 5x times 5x. And what we're doing is we're taking 5, which has an exponent of 1, multiply it by its power that you're raising it to, and then multiply that by x, which has a power of 1, and multiply it also by 7. Exercise 11. Let x and y be numbers. So here we have 5xy squared all raised to the 7th power. So you would be raising 5 to the 7th power. So that's 5, 1 times 7. And then x has an invisible exponent, 1. Raise that to the 7th power. And then y squared. And you want to raise that to the 7th power. Multiply it by 7. Exercise 9. Let a, b, and c be numbers. So we have 3 raised to the 2nd power raised to the 5th power times a to the 4th raised to the 5th power. So we have 3 squared now we want to raise that to the fifth power, multiply it by 5, times a to the fourth power, and we want to raise that to the fifth power. Exercise 12. Let a, b, and c be numbers. a squared, b, c to the third, all raised to the fourth power. So again, make sure that you are raising each one of those to the fourth power. So we have a squared raise it to the fourth power, b to the first, raise it to the fourth power, and c to the third power, raise it to the fourth power. Exercise 13. Let x and y be numbers. y does not equal zero. Let n be a positive integer. How is x over y, or x divided by y, to the nth power related to x to the n power and y to the n power? So first, why, can, why is it that y cannot be 0? Remember, you cannot divide by 0, so y can be any a number besides 0. And then why are we using n as a positive integer? We don't know how to work with negative exponents yet. That's why we're sticking to positive numbers. So we have x over y to the n power. And that is equal to x to the n power over y to the n power. Because if you have x, y to the n power, that means that you are repeatedly multiplying x over y times x over y repeatedly. How many times? n times. So what we're doing is x times x times x times x repeatedly n times, and then you are also y times y times y repeatedly, n times. So the x to the n times is your numerator, 
and y to the n times is your denominator. We won't be working with this particular type of problem too much. So in this lesson, you have learned to raise a power to a power. And remember that you are taking each term to that power. So this is just summarizing what we did up here. Then to raise a power to a power, you keep the base. Let's write this down. To raise a power to a power, such as x to the m power raised to the n power. You keep the base and you multiply the exponents. Raise a power to a power. Keep the base and multiply your exponents. An example with numbers would be 3 to the 4th power raised to the 5th power. So we keep the base and multiply the exponents. You can have more than one. You can have a coefficient and variables also raised to a power. Remember to raise each one to that power. So that would be 2 to the 5th power times a to the 3rd raised to the 5th. And finally, as a fraction, which we won't be doing a lot of, we have 2 thirds raised to the 5th power. Remember that you would raise the numerator to that power as well as the denominator to that power.